What's going on guys, it's Dan Before Time. So, the Sombra rumor mill and speculation has been going on for quite some time within the Overwatch community, but today, Blizzard kicked it up a whole nother notch when they released this image on their official Twitter. It reads, Archive from the communication records of Ziegler A, Overwatch file 00231, security classification, confidential. Now, if you guys weren't aware, Ziegler A refers to Angela Ziegler, who is actually Mercy within the Overwatch lore, and this is actually addressed to Jay Morrison and G. Reyes, who we know as Soldier 76 and Reaper. So if we think about it in terms of the timeline of the Overwatch universe, this actually places this communication from the first assemblage of the Overwatch team, which happens to be right in line with some of the speculation that Sombra is actually Farah's mother. So let's dig into this blueprint a little more. It contains a little bit of correspondence between Torbjorn and Mercy herself. Torbjorn is the designer of these prototype weapons, so the note from Torbjorn says, As discussed, this is the proposed rifle that could be equipped by medics in the field. And despite what my colleague will surely suggest, the application of her biotic technology is only intended to be used for healing. So right off the bat we know that we have a long range rifle capable of healing teammates from a distance. This is super cool, but we're going to get into my thoughts on that later. This also hints at some tension that's going on between Torbjorn and Mercy, just by the way that he says that his colleague will surely suggest that he has opposite intentions. Now if we continue on and look at Mercy's notes on the actual blueprint, while Torbjorn has, as ever, put forth a very clever design for his latest weapon, I would like to remind everyone that my intention when agreeing to the development of different biotic delivery mechanisms was to save the lives of Overwatch agents and others in need of medical aid. With this latest proposal, it is clear to me that we are on the slippery slope to modifications that will inevitably result in a weaponized version of this technology, something that I have been completely opposed to from the beginning. So apparently there's been a lot of tension surrounding this since she agreed to actually let her, technolo her healing technology be used, and it seems like that tension is ongoing here. And as we can see from the blueprint, it very clearly shows some kind of long-range sniper rifle. And what's interesting to me is that it looks like part of the Caduceus staff is fitted kind of under barrel, and it actually looks like the ammo pod that is being used is the biotic field, or at least the canister from the biotic field that Soldier 76 uses as a healing mechanism. So it looks like it's going to be able to shoot some form of high speed healing projectile, and because of the scope that it shows here, I would guess that it would be at pretty extensive ranges. So we definitely have some sort of underbarrel healing device, but if you look a little bit closer on the top, right behind the scope, it actually looks like this is chambered for regular ammunition as well. Now not only does this give credence to what Mercy is worried about, but it also makes sense from just a gameplay standpoint, and the fact that the rest of the healers or the rest of the support in the game of Overwatch all have some form of damage dealing ability. And being as Sombra has always been described as a support sniper, I wouldn't expect that to change with this hero. So what does all this mean for us, the players of Overwatch? Well, it basically means that Sombra is all but confirmed. And going by the way that Blizzard has operated with these info dumps in the past, in my opinion this is probably coming sooner rather than later. They tend to drop these about a week or two before they actually release the content that's related to them, so we have reason to be very excited for a new hero to be coming right around the corner. I know personally I'm super excited for this. I love the support class, but I felt for a long time that they need another true support healer hero. And this fits my playstyle. I love high accuracy, high reward gameplay. I love playing as snipers, so I cannot wait to get my hands on Sombra and try this weapon out. So guys, it looks like we have our first brand new hero coming very soon. Are you guys excited? Are you not? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I've been Dan Before Time. You've been awesome. And until next time, enjoy your watch.